Ah, hello everyone, so we're at Spectacle Island, um, I built a thing, now, I had recorded myself building this thing, um, on my Elgato, but it was been a bit weird, and after I finished, it took about 35-40 minutes, um, it appears to have not actually recorded it, so fuck technology for starters, and that means this is going to be in standard definition, bonuses, it's going to render faster than real time, so that's cool, so I thought rather than not uploading the video, which is what I was going to do, because I was in a huff, um, I thought, you know what, I'll just make a little kind of video where I talk you through what I did, um, because I quite like this, it was a bit more of an experimental build, where I just kind of, this is how I actually build stuff, I just kind of think, okay, I kind of know I want to use these pieces, um, and then I just kind of go for it. Now, the reason why I came back to Spectacle Island is, um, I, I was watching a channel that I should going to give a shout-out now, because I would be wanted to kind of give them a shout-out for quite a while, um, and, um, they've been recently on Spectacle Island, they've got this big town, it's pretty cool, um, which is Batima Quest, you've probably seen her comment on the threads before, well, actually, it's probably a personal personal um, account from a personal account but you can put two and two together um, but she actually has a YouTube channel as well and she's got this quite weird but cool looking oh I left a fence down there um, spectacle island build also she's Irish and it's just as rambly and as nonsensical as me so definitely check out her channel I'll link to the video the last one I watched which was the Minuteman HQ I know she's done another one but I haven't watched it yet it's pretty cool also makes me really annoyed about the decoration because it seems to be everyone else is not only good at it but seems to weirdly enjoy it like I look at their decoration if you go to a Minuteman HQ you see the decoration like the junk and it's like she's put more effort into it whereas me I always feel like I've kind of gone just get it out of the way but hers have like got things placed down which makes sense mine is just well I just looted the closest area and dropped everything um anywho enough of that bullshit so this is basically my um and yeah a link in the description to the go have a chuck go have a look subscribe to her channel um and generally give her some love I uh, might encourage you to make more videos as well, which is always good. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a kind of slightly bigger boxcar shack. That was the whole premise here. Um, similar to the other one I've done before, but a little bit more scrappier, kind of in the stuff. Well, scrappier-ish. No, no, the other one was pretty crisp, actually, yeah. A bit more scrappier. Um, as you can see, I've kind of become a little bit infatuated with my reverse junk fences I do like them so let me just kind of go through what I've done it's um three by three I'm not sorry it's not it's one by three um using the the just general junk uh shack foundations as you can see here so shack foundation one two three um and then I've got a boxcar just snapped on the side and then boxcar end and then a slightly longer boxcar end of also one of my fences is a little bit too high I made this weird little balcony thing very simple. Snapped a scaffolding frame and put some light little thing. I just, I like a wee little balcony. Um, it looks grand. So what I've done, um, I put, they're actually really hard to get under, so I try to recommend not doing it, but getting uh, this low down. Uh, but I kind of use the hold X select all glitch to basically just move some scaffolding underneath of the shack wall and roofs. Um, initially I was going to leave it like that, and I thought, actually, I kind of wanted them to almost look just a little bit more secure, so I, I used the reverse junk fences to actually kind of do a little reinforcement of the windows. Um, just it kind of adds, similar how I did the slog, really, I've started kind of doing that a lot more, where I'm just kind of trying to add texture where maybe there isn't texture before, just to kind of mix up, especially with wood where it can look quite samey, and I've just kind of tried to mix it up a little bit more. I've done it with the bridge, actually, as well. I should have maybe focused on that first, um, where I've just, with the exception, actually, of the actual bridge you walk across is a bit samey, but um, in terms of just mixing up the railings, for example, just kind of break up the monotony a little bit of even just the same um, material, let alone the same kind of surface area. So you can see on the outside, I've done the reverse walls, it's all very good. Um, I filled the gap under here because I wanted it to look like it was packed. Well, it is. I wanted it to look like it was packed with tyres underneath. I'm quite pleased with the outcome, really. Um, let me go over here. This is actually going to be a big-ass tower. Um, it's really annoying, actually, the thing didn't record because there were some quite entertaining moments with the snapping of these... Um, this wouldn't fucking snap in. <laughs> The scaffolding frames, right, so I did the floor, so it's it's one down there, like that, what I, how I got these on, by the way, is I snapped them onto the foundation, and then these shack walls were put on afterwards, um, it enabled me to get them exactly the right height, but then I snapped the kind of 
the top level, so you know, the second scaffolding frame. And my idea was, is how I've done this part here, so I've got the kind of slightly raised, and it goes down to the roof, and slightly raised here, and this was going to be quite a big tower. Um, but for whatever unholy reason, when I tried to snap on the scaffolding frames, they would just snap weirdly, they wouldn't just snap on top. Which is strange, because I did it in my elevator video. Um, and then when it did snap on, it snapped on halfway. So it, it looks alright. I mean, when I decorate this place, it's going to have lots of... This might be a little crow's nest. This is going to be kind of like the first structure you see when you come into um, Spectacle Island. Um, and it's just quite cool. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm just a bit fucked off that um, it didn't fucking record. So I made a joke on Twitter, actually, which is quite funny. In their defense. Sorry, I can't remember your name because I didn't occur to me to mention this. But someone was like, oh, yeah, that's basically the... Uh, YouTube version of a dog ate my homework like well actually I've got proof motherfucker <laughs> um so yeah it's I know this isn't really a build video unfortunately it's more of a showcase of my little kind of larger and a bit more scrappier boxcar shack uh, the next video will be on Saturday because um, I'm going out tomorrow which is hence why I'm just recording this so um again apologies for my Elgato fuck up um but I'll have a normal video um, I'll figure out that I think it was probably I've just pulled out of cable or just done something fucking stupid, no doubt. Um, because it, it, it my computer's really fast. It, it, anyway, I'll just I'll I'll sort it out, right? Yeah, I'll sort it out. Um, so I'll have a video on Saturday. Um, I'm probably might do the vault tour actually, because um, I figured that will make up for the fact that this video isn't really a build video. Um, again, check out the Team of Quests uh, channel. It's very very cool. Um. And especially, I said, like the decoration and just generally her, her, her settlements have a slight humour to them, is understating it a little bit. Like it's kind of like takes the game seriously but doesn't take it seriously in a quite a fun way. So I think you guys will enjoy her content. Anyway, I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy your day. Take care.